Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson. If you want today, I want to talk about the next generation consoles, which is the Xbox One and the PS4. And even though I'm a PlayStation guy, I still like to mention the Xbox One because this news goes out to both consoles. So don't start fanboying, you know, Joe, you're just a PlayStation guy, shut up. You don't know nothing about the Xbox. I don't give a damn. I'll still talk about it. So anyways, the reason why I want to talk about both generations is because I brought up a topic here in Twitter, in my Twitter. If you're not following me, you know where the Twitter, you know, link is at. It's in the description. So don't be lazy. Just click on it. So I talked about it on Twitter. And what it was, it was the big question or big uh, topic was, uh, which was, why not to buy the next generation console right now? And there's like at least like around four to five reasons. Reason number one, you guys are young. Most of you guys are still in high school. Since I already graduated like three years ago, I know what to expect on your guys' second semester. So uh, I know most of, you, most of my fan base right now are fishy, sophomores, and juniors. And yes, I do check my age views and all that crap. So uh, so yeah, most of you guys are still in high school. And most of the guys I play with in my PSN are still in high school. So, um, if you're planning to buy the PS4 or the Xbox One with your own savings, do not do it. Second semester, it's all about the money. And the reason why is because there's going to be parties. There's going to be, your friends are going to be want to go out and they want munchies. You know, who's going to have the money? You are, if you save it. And what else? Dances, there's going to be photos, you know, all that, all that fun stuff. So, if you want to be part of that fun stuff, do not waste your money right now on the next generation console. Do not do it. All right. And if your parents are buying it for you, well, let them buy it for you. You know, at least get that out of the way before it becomes too late. So, um, yeah, if your parents are buying it for you, take it. You know, just take it. That's where that's one way you can actually keep your, you know, to get your uh, next generation console right now. But if you're buying it by yourself with your own money, I suggest to save that money. Right. That's reason number one. Reason number two is there's not enough games out. Not yet. I have. I do have the PS4. I played Kills on Shadowfall. I played Call of Duty Ghosts. I played Battlefield 4. I saw my friend play it and he let me play it for a little bit. And I wasn't surprised. Uh, I played Need for Speed Rivals also. My friend lent it to me and it wasn't that much of a like wow. Uh, the sports games. This is like at least 4 to 5 I think. NBA Live, and NBA 2K14, Madden and FIFA. If you're fans of sports... Then go ahead, you know, if you're like a big fan, go ahead and get those sports games for your next generation consoles because those are kind of imp impressive. You know, NBA 2K14, it is very impressive. I got it. That's what That was my first game I ever played here on my PS4, and it was very, very impressive. Those new mechanics are just incredible. The graphics are insane. I mean, I'm just like, that's the way you should spend your next generation console. And what I'm trying to say here, guys, your first game should be fun. Not competitive like Call of Duty Ghost or Battlefield or Need for Speed Rivals. I don't think that's a fun game either. I mean, I played it and it was just, just too competitive. And I was like, screw this. This is not fun. This is mostly like pretty much frustrating. So um, what you want to do, guys, is spend. It's, uh, the only way you can buy the next generation console if you are sure that you're going to buy a fun game. You don't want to spend your first game on uh, the next gen console with a, like with a boring one or with a very hard one you want to spend it with some easy shit some adventure games some game that will you know bring you a lot of fun that's the only way you're going to be able to get your next generation console so uh, since there's not enough games guys i suggest to hold on to your money and not spend it right now do not spend it on next generation console third reason the next generation consoles do not cost you know the ps4 costs for how much 3.99 it costs three ninety nine, right? But you're still missing the webcam. You're still missing your PlayStation Plus. Both of those things are fifty bucks and plus. So, if the console and also you're missing your insurance, so you're gonna get the console plus the insurance. That's fifty bucks more, four hundred and fifty dollars. Plus the webcam, that's fifty dollars more, five hundred dollars. And plus the other thing that I forgot, that's gonna be like five hundred dollars. So, uh, yeah. $550 actually, $550 plus taxes, I think that will be $580 in total for the webcam, PlayStation Plus, and the insurance. $550, imagine the fucking Xbox One, you still need to get your Microsoft points, the webcam already comes with it, so yeah, I guess that's out of the way. Uh, what's another thing, I think that's about it, 
yeah, your Microsoft points will be like fifty dollars more. So the overall you're gonna be spending for the Xbox One will be six hundred and fifty dollars. So there you go. The prices that they actually are right now is not true. That's not the actual price. All right, you're gonna be spending way more than what you think, guys. So yeah, that's a lot of fucking money, a lot, and I suggest to save it. All right, that's the main point of this whole argument here. Uh, the next reason why is because you know. There's not enough of anything, like, at all. I mean, downloads are not there, um, not yet. I mean, there's going to be a lot of downloads coming up the next few months because I know they're releasing some zombie games and I don't know what the hell. There's not enough mini games. The features are good. You know, they do have live streams and all that. It's just that, uh, you know, it comes back to, again, you know, there's not enough games to show. and There's not enough games to have fun in. So, uh, you know, there's not enough of anything. So think about it, guys. So, uh, so yeah, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about. That's all the reasons, I think. I don't know if I forgot a reason. You know, most of the reasons is just money. It's just save your freaking money because most of you guys are young. There's not enough games. Uh, you know, I think that's about it. Yeah, and it's going to cost you more than you think. That's about it, guys. Yeah. So think about it, guys. You want to save your money. And by the way, here's the other reason. That's what I forgot. Um, the last reason is because most of the games are going to be coming out during summer. And the fall. Think about it. Which games are coming out in the summer? Watch Dogs, fucking Planet Side, Titanfall, uh, Call the next Call of Duty game in November. Um, some other Borderlands games. I don't know what the hell's gonna be coming out in August. Also in August, it's gonna be mostly sports games coming out and all that fun stuff. You know, a bunch of new games are gonna be coming out during the summer and the fall. Right now in February through May, there's gonna be rarely anything. There's gonna be a zombie game for the PS4. There's gonna be some few little games, indie games, whatever. Blah blah. It's not that impressive, but uh, yeah. I mean, February through May, it's not going to be anything at all. So think about it. A bunch of the games are going to be coming out in summer and, and fall. So this is where I'm getting to, guys. The real time to buy the next generation consoles will be November 2014. And the reason why is because now, during that time, they will have discounts. For all the games. For sure it's going to be like a 20% discount. It's still good though. I, I think you're going to be having like at least 20% discounts on your PS4 and the Xbox Ones. So instead of costing $399, it's going to cost you $350 or something. So yeah. I mean it's going to cost you less. Everything's going to cost you less. Everything's going to have a percentage off. Once it comes down to, to the Black Friday of 2014. So think about it guys. Discounts are going to happen for the next gen. If you guys were on Black Friday this year in 2013 and you guys bought it on Christmas, there was no discounts. There were zero discounts for anything. For anything. So yeah, guys, you got to be smart with this one. Do not be wasting your money like crazy, guys. Be smart about it because it is going to be a big waste right now. The generations are good. I mean, the next gens are good. I saw uh, some gameplay about the Xbox One. It looks pr pretty much all right, even though there's just 720p. Pretty much upsetting there, guys. So, uh, yeah, Xbox One, I think you got, you know, stolen or something. Anyways, the, the PS4, I do have it. I have it right here, guys. It looks way too incredible. I mean, I played Killzone Shadowfall. And it was the kills. The kills on Shadowfall game was a pretty much an upsetting game because it wasn't that good. It was baby stuff, guys. I played it, and it's nothing compared to Call of Duty Ghost. And uh, I wish I never played it again. But the graphics were incredible. The explosions were incredible. That's the only thing I can say about that game. It just shows the 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 console's mechanics. You know how it improved, how it improved in the graphics, and that's it. You know that's what Kills on Shadowfall was. But as a uh, you know. Can it compete with Call of Duty Ghost? I don't think so. Can it compete with Battlefield 4? I don't think so either. So yeah, guys, that's all for now. You know, that's all I wanted to say, guys. Do not waste your money. Save it. You guys are still in high school, and most of you guys are going to be spending it on your boyfriends or girlfriends and, uh, you know, parties and gas money and I don't know what. So uh, save your money. You don't need your, your next-gen consoles right now. So leave a like, leave a comment, leave your opinion guys about this and I'll see you guys later and enjoy your day.